Hey guys, welcome back to the Low Bar. My name is Levi Lazaga and this is... Joel Negretti. And today, of course, we have our pop culture correspondent, Nassim Mirdamadi, who is going to be our female voice on the show to prove we are not chauvinistic. One female, three males. And look, we're, uh, we're more taking steps, and that's right. what's important. Okay, yeah, that's that's totally fine. So Chris here, a.k.a. KRXS, is going to be joining us on today's show to drink some beer, talk about movies, entertainment, or at least we'll try to do our best because, you know, on this show, we do set the bar low. All right, well, before we get into it, I just want to thank all of our viewers out there for watching our show we wouldn't be here without you guys, so I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the season so far. We have some amazing guests, and we actually have some more amazing guests uh, later this season. Uh, but before we get into it, if you want to watch the show, catch the show, wherever it is, wherever you are, make sure to visit the lowbarpodcast.com. Check us out. Uh, the most important thing on there, if you go to the donate page and make a donation, it'll help us out because we need beer. Yeah, we donate to these men. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really care about the guests that come on the show. We just care about the beer. And right now we're running low fast. So help me, please. Yeah, and help me too because I need a new carburetor. Uh, and so that donate page is going to go towards that first. And then it will go to the podcast. So there yeah. you go. Anyways, what are you drinking? Uh, Hazy Little Thing IPA from yeah. Sierra Nevada. You've had that before, huh? I've had it before. Slate, uh, State 48 Mango Wheat, American Wheat. Delicious. Mm. What, you what got, are you Chris? drinking over there? Yeah, I've got the Big Blue Van. Yeah. You know, we out here at College Street Brewery in Lake Havasu, Arizona. Shout out to Lake Havasu. Yeah. Nice. Lake Havasu. Levi hates Lake Havasu. I hate Lake Havasu. <laughs> I wonder oh. why. <laughs> Chris's car is still there. Yes, Chris's yeah, car is like still there. It never came back. So, just real quick, you guys shot a music video out in Lake Havasu, right? And that was we just did. a big pain in the ass, we right? From, from, uh, the, from what I heard. Oh, yeah. It was just crazy. Literally, the whole time. everything that could have gone wrong went yeah, wrong. Went wrong. Ever, like, even the weekend before when yeah. I was scouting locations, like, I ended up getting arrested. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> we're scouting locations. Yeah. We're scouting Where the locations. hell were you scouting at? Yo. He's like, I was in a cemetery, and yeah. <laughs> Yo, it was just like one thing after another, and yeah. then uh, got down there. It was like the hotel was an issue. Like, you know, uh, yeah, we ended up getting the hotel. This, that was Jeez. a nightmare. You know, we found the oh like God. a super chill alternative, yeah. but like yeah. But so to the part though where you guys, so you guys were filming like kind of in the desert area, right? Mm -hmm. And then you guys had the idea to to take your car and do donuts like around the, where you guys are shooting, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like a punk got... Post Malone video, yeah. you know, Iverson, you know. And like literally, there's a part of the song that goes, "Crash my whip, what a bomber." Crash my whip. And like literally, so it was like, literally crashed that, it. Literally crashed the car, and it it's got like, stuck in the desert. It's very method. This is <laughs> this is in the summer at a oh god, like yeah, you're right. That was a degree thing. weather. Yeah. In like Arizona Havasu. summer too. What is like Havasu, Arizona, or is that California? Summer? Yeah, it's Arizona. Like, yeah. It's Arizona. It's, it's yeah. border of like Cali, Arizona, Arizona, Vegas. Are you no. still allowed back in Lake Havasu? Oh, yeah, some they, parts they will still have me. You know, some parts. You're like a local celebrity now. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. His car is still there. His car is still there. Everybody comes there and tags it up and stuff. Lock your doors. It's like a landmark. It's not your husband. Yo. Before we get into it. What do you got for us? We got a game. We we uh, seen this game already in the past couple episodes. We're uh, showcasing this. We're really enjoying it, having a lot of fun with it. And uh, Chris, I think you're gonna like it too. So uh, let's go on over to Pain and Game. Ooh, Ooh. Pain and Game. <laughs> Welcome to Pain and Game. We are here, and I'm going to explain you guys this game. If you haven't seen it before, uh, pay attention. So, <laughs> pay essentially, attention. what we're going to do, we're going to play a game, Street Fighter 2. Well, I should say you two, Levi and Chris, are going to play Street Fighter 2. Okay? Now, uh, what's going to happen is you guys are going to play for two rounds, possible bonus rounds, in case both of you guys win the matches. Uh, while you're playing, you can win up to two points if you win the entire match, right? So, it's two different rounds. That's four points that you can win. Uh, Levi's actually been pretty good at it. He's 
actually beaten everybody so far. Mm-hmm. But okay. here's the caveat. All right, let's see if I can since, knock him off his horse. Here's the thing. Here's the caveat, though. Since it is uh, the low bar, we like to in- incorporate some of our own little taste to it. I have your movie trivia questions. Ooh, so, okay, at the same while time. you two are playing, I am going to be asking you questions back and forth, starting with Levi, then you, Chris, back and forth, back and forth. If you get the answer right, you get a... If you get the answer wrong... All right. Dang. And okay, so that's what right. you'll hear. That's a little harsh. All yeah. right. Oh. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and load up uh, Street Fighter 2, the turbo. Okay. Here we go. All right. And Street uh, Fighter. please announce which fighter you are going to be. Maybe like once a long time ago in an arcade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. But... I'm pretty good at trivia, so we'll see. Maybe I can balance it out. Yeah, but doing trivia, too, while you're doing this, it, it is hard. Levi couldn't get one answer right. I know. Levi only, <laughs> Levi only won because he beat him in the yeah. matches. So that shows you how important it is to win these matches. I can't focus at the same time. Like, I can't answer questions. All right, and so answer. you guys are going through to pick players now. Right. So let me know who you got. All right, I'm going to choose Vega. Vega, all right. So Levi's Vega. I used to like, you know, he did the thing. Yeah. Girl power. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was the original Wolverine. No, not really, because I think Marvel was before this. And who do you got? You got Ken. I chose homie Ken. He's right, got some Ken. pretty dope hair. You know what? <laughs> For this, let's let's put our attack power to one. All right, put your attack. Maybe power we're to just one. Lo- we're just winning too fast. Yeah. Okay. Attack power one. Let's uh, do two. <laughs> Chris let's ain't do doing it. <laughs> All right. Wait, let's go, go? far. So you oh. see the stars? Yeah. Bring yeah. them back to bring them back to three. Let's do three. All right. Three there stars. You go. Attack level yeah. three. And Levi, where are you gonna choose? Yeah. Arbitrary place. Oh, all right, here we go. Oh, all right, so it. fight starting here. So, okay, Levi, what Hans, what what Hans uh, Christian Anderson story is Frozen inspired by? Uh, uh, uh Jack the Fro- Frost. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> all right, Chris, what movie star John Travolta was adapted from a novel written by L. Ron Hubbard? Uh, Pulp Fiction. Okay, Levi, who is the uh, arch criminal in The Usual Suspects? Oh. Uh, uh, usual sex suspect. No idea. It's good. Okay. Oh, Chris. I lost. All right. Let's go. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's ten. just the, that was just the first round in that first game here. Ooh. So you still got one more here, Chris. If you do win this next match, you can get two points. Okay. Let's go ahead and go next. Uh, Chris, what and Woody Allen's Midnight in Paris. What keeps happening to Gil at midnight? I haven't even seen that movie. Uh, <laughs> okay. he's shrunk. He shrinks. <laughs> he shrinks. Okay. <laughs> Levi, which a 1993 movie is? Sub- Subtitled The Bruce Lee Story. Oh my god, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> We're Chris, all terrible. Ray Liotta plays Shoeless Joe Jackson in what film? Okay, if you build oh, it, they will come. Oh, I thought I got uh, okay. Field of Dreams. Nope. Damn oh it. shit. I won. You got it. Let's go. I lost in the fight. See, damn it. It is hard to do both. Yo. I know. I can't think. <laughs> no, this is a low bar. This is a pretty high bar. Especially okay. if you have ADHD. All right. So, Levi, Levi, Levi. Who plays Archie Who plays Archie Leach in A Fish Called Wanda? Uh, oh, no fuck. idea. Okay. Skip. Chris, who plays Butch <laughs> in Butch Cassidy and <laughs> the fought. Sundance Kid? <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, you just win. You're right. uh, I don't shit. Know. So okay, here we go. So new tally here. Did I win? Chris yeah, you hey, won. Hey, let's go. Baby. So Chris yeah. wins the match. That's two points that he gets for that. Plus he had one answer correct too for the trivia. I think that's mm-hmm. the first person to get one answer. Let's right go. There. KRX is coming in hot, baby. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. Oh my 2023. Let's go. Let me see if I can find some easier ones for you. Guys. That was just round one. That oh, was round see. one. Oh shh. <laughs> We got two more rounds left. Okay, yeah. yeah. It looks easier. <laughs> All right, we're going to do another round. Get that one pulled up there. All right, so you guys going to choose new characters? You can stick with the ones you got. I'm going to go with Bison. Bison. Okay, so Levi's playing Bison this time around. And I think Chris is sticking around with Ken. Yeah. Ken did me right this time. We'll see if he can pull through. All right, so Chris has three points, Levi. So you have to at least win this match and get one more to tie him. So two more trivia questions will get you at least a beat him, but yeah, that's also that's counting <laughs> that he doesn't get any right on his end. Listen, I'm probably just gonna just... Now, if you tie him, though, we can go into additional rounds, which means we'll have one more fight. All right. All right. All right. Anybody so, play some bets? Yeah, let's do Oh, Nassim? All right, where are we going? How much money you got? Who you got money on? 
I'm not even allowed to answer. Let's do it a three-way parlay. I'm broke. No, just, <laughs> we're doing a lot of fan duel right now. <laughs> Depends on how much my GoFundMe gets. <laughs> right, you guys should start an OnlyFans. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. What makes you think we don't already have one? A low-bar only only OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. All right, where are we going? Spain? I don't care. All right, we're going to Spain. Right, so <laughs> okay. Did you guys see the black mirror that was like about this? All right, here we go, here we go. All right, all right. Oh, all right Levi, which British actor known for st uh, stuttering uh, stuttering Star Wars and four weddings and a funeral. No idea. Skip. Okay. Oh, All right. Chris, who plays Gollum in the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogy? Schmeagol. No. This actor? Actor. <laughs> no okay. idea. All right. Levi, which film did okay. Hitchcock... Okay. Oh. Damn it. Okay. You win. So that's match, round so. one to mm -hmm. Levi. So he has another round here. Now, Levi, again, if you win this match, that puts you at two. But you got to get a damn trivia question. Stop I skipping, gotta, dude. I guess. Gotta get it. You got to guess. Stop skipping. All right, Levi. What film did Hitchcock win his only best pi uh, picture Oscar for? Uh, uh, Birds. Okay. Damn it. Oh, uh, Psycho. Chris, what, uh, what, uh, what Korean film won best Oscar in 2020? Parasite. That's right. That's right. Okay, Levi. Who KO. voices the truck? Why did you end the fight so quick for it? You needed, you needed to keep him around. I know. But that was got, already... Got the look point. how much love... love it was like neck to neck. Dude, I know. That was intense. Okay, so... Let me do a quick tally for you guys uh, real quick We're here. tied. No, we're not tied. Oh, on here. <laughs> oh, on here. What do you mean? The one game. to one. Oh, one yeah, one. but that doesn't count. We're doing points. So, because uh, oh. Chris, Chris, he won the matches too, but he also got two trivia answers right. One right in the last one, one right this one. So that puts him at four points tallied. You're only at two, Levi. What does that mean? That means you lost. Completely? We yeah. only do two rounds? We only two rounds. He, he beat you in points here. But this is what matters, not the way we win. Oh, I thought we always do a third round. No, because it, 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 we would do a third one if he didn't get any uh, uh, trivia answers right. Should oh. we just go all or nothing on this last all round? Right, if Chris wants to give you another round, I'll, I'll let him go. <laughs> Yo, I'm that's down. That's up Whatever. to Chris. That's yeah, up to Chris. Yeah. You, right. you want to call right. it? Let's you want to give him a shot? All right. Let's all right. do it. Hopefully, Levi can get a damn trivia answer. I can't focus. <laughs> God. All right, let me see if I can find it. I'll better. try one more. should have popped an Addy before this. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to start it off here again. Four to Chris, two to Levi. Let's see what Levi can do right now. Here we Not go. One. Okay, Levi, what oh, actor what? stands on the bow of the Titanic and yells, I'm the king of the world? That's uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Nice. Okay, Chris, in the line, here's Johnny, is from what 80s horror film? Uh, well, that is from, uh, yeah, fucking... Sorry, the round's already yeah. over. Dude, The Shining. The Shining. <laughs> Damn, All right, I just Levi, watched that. You're at one point right now, so that puts you at three. Okay, uh, Chris, what, or, uh, Levi, what film sees the Brewster sisters offering lonely bachelors with elderly wine? I don't know. What? Okay, let me start. Well, I didn't know what that question <laughs> Who plays was. Valerie and head nurse uh, and girls interrupted? I've never even seen that. Okay, Chris. Uh, what actor is uh, is chasing after what others uh, actors in a Catch Me If You Can? Uh, Tom Hanks is chasing Leonardo DiCaprio. Holy shit. K.O. Nice. Fuck, but I got a question. Hold on a second here. So, quick tally on here. <laughs> we just oh my tie? god. He just tied. Yo. Okay, so. See, the, the love is mutual. Yeah. yeah. So, so Chris gave like, you an like, opening, again. and because of that, Levi was able to go ahead and tally because he won the match and got one answer finally correct in I trivia, know. which put his at five and Chris's at five as well. So, so with we that being said, we got to go ahead and do, uh, you got to do another round. Oh, shit. You got to okay. do another round. Damn, we don't think we've ever gone this far. Well, this is what happens when you get a bonus one on here. And Chris said yes. right. I'm gonna be Chun Li. All right, Chun Li, into the fist. Into the fist. I'm going back to homie Ken. All right, let's go USA. to the USA. All right, here we go. Okay, Levi, what typically comedic actor is the villain in Insomnia? Insomnia. No idea. Okay, uh, uh, Chris, <laughs> who directed the original Halloween movie? Ooh, M. Night Shyamalan. What? He wasn't even born. Okay. <laughs> really? The Levi, who plays the jerk in The Jerk, Steve Martin, Peter Sellers, or Tom Hanks? Peter Sellers. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, Chris, what is the Dorothy's last name in Wizard of Oz? <laughs> Don't <talk>. uh, <laughs> Come on. K.O. <laughs> it's K.O. I didn't know that either, though. K. 
Kale? Adams? All right, here, so we got one more round left here, and you, so whoever wins this pretty much wins it unless you get questions. All right, Levi, who plays Walter Burns in the Howard Hawks 40s film, His Girl Friday? Who? Chris, <laughs> who is the leader of the uh, Autobots in the Transformers movies? Uh, Decepticon. No. Uh, Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. Okay, Optimus Levi. Prime, in the 90s the thriller, guys. does Sharon Stone uh, star as a successful crime novelist? Oh, oh, uh, 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 that's fucking, uh, don't, 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 don't do it, don't, ah! <laughs> okay, uh, Chris, who plays Harry and Sally in When Harry Met Sally? Oh, come oh, on, I have his face in my Robert head. Pattinson? Oh my god! I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh my god. This game is bull! I hate this won. game. I think that puts Levi, though. Alright. Levi wins. You know All right. what, honestly, Chris, Chris gave Chris me an extra won. round, Right now, so look, Levi listen. wins... But you got an asterisk next to that. I did. I Because Chris really won this, and yeah, Chris said it's yeah. like he gave me an round. extra round. It's like in a game of pool when somebody accidentally hits the eight ball in. And, you know what I mean? And you're like, well, you're like, do you want to just like keep going because it's fun? And you're like, yeah. And then they beat you, and you're like, well, what do we do about it? See, this? if like this is a real commission, I would say no. Chris wins. That's the end of the match. Everybody goes home. End of I know, game. I know. I know. All right, but you know all what? Right. Here's the thing. Uh, we all had fun, and that's what really matters. Yep. And I even snuck in a couple Real winner of is right here. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, real quick, let me just do a quick tally. Levi ends that match. Uh, I think that was the fourth match. Uh, <laughs> and he finally wins with seven points to Chris's five. However, Chris really did win, and uh, you know, so there's an asterisk there. With that being said, I Can't think uh, we all had fun here, but we want to hear about some pop culture. So I'm going to send it on over to the pop culture correspondent. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Nassim, I'm going to go ahead and send it on over to you. Here we go. So I wanted to start off my first podcast of 2023 with kind of like a little roundup of the celebrity gossip that got me very intrigued in 2022. As a millennial, I have to say that Benefer getting back together and getting married was the highlight of my year. But it's also one of the things that I feel like if you're a millennial, you've experienced both relationships. Mm. Just like 9-11. Just like living through two recessions and a fucking pandemic. So as a millennial, it was my proudest moment to basically live through the first one and the second one. But now looking back, I'm like, I fucking hate these two. They're the most <laughs> annoying couple on the planet. We already went through it once. I know. But like the more I see them on the internet and on my Instagram, the more I cringe. And I'm like, why did I like these two in the first place? Mm -hmm. Is it just me or do you guys just not give a fuck about those two? I don't know who you talk about. She's talking about, she's <laughs> about Ben Affleck. Like <laughs> That's how much I care. <laughs> I'd even hear your no, name. No, look, the I'm I'm a big ben, I'm a big Ben Affleck fan, so I care. I'm, look, but I don't care. I, who's I, fucking I don't know. Ben Affleck seems kind of like a doucher to me, to be honest. Oh, but he's a good really? director. He's a great director. You don't he is think a great he's a filmmaker. Bag? I, I mean, I don't oh, know I, him, so I can't like just I say think that. Matt you know Damon I mean? is a better actor. Why I was it, why Matt Damon and Ben Affleck they always get compared? I know. <laughs> right? Well, they worked together for the longest yeah, time, and enough. I totally get it. But like, like me, just speaking of the pop culture ness of they this, call right? they call me and Levi the Ben Affleck of the podcast world. The, yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously I'm, Matt Damon. I'm, no, <laughs> yeah, I'm Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, and he's just a producer. <laughs> I mean, now I just associate Matt Damon with The Martian. Have you guys seen that movie? Oh, yeah. I love that movie. He grows food with poop. Yeah. The Martian? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a great Space movie. Pirate. Space, Space Pirate. Space Pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go watch that movie again now. You got me intrigued in it. But, like, that was, like, my takeaway from this. It's like, you know, as the first time they came out together, it was, like, what, 90-something. She was j -Lo from the block. I don't, you know, I don't Jenny think it's block. really Ben Affleck that we should be judging, but... Why? What's wrong with j -Lo? Sexist. <laughs> <laughs> I love their South Park episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's that's butt the only face. good takeaway from all this. No, 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 no. I mean, I think it's cool to see couples that have fallen apart get back together and, like, you know, they've got kids together. So but I, I can't imagine. Like they don't have kids together, together, do they? They don't, they? they don't have kids. No? No, they didn't know. have kids. Well, social media was different back then. I feel like now they're so in your fucking face mm -hmm. that I'm just over it. Well, it was a big relationship back then, too. But now it's different, yeah, with more social media. I think me, my generation, and mm -hmm. I don't want to say my gender, because 
we love, you know, I love gossip, obviously. Guys like gossip, too. Yeah. Especially the hot, the hot goss. The hot goss. <laughs> but What's at least for me, it was so like, far? you know, seeing them back together, it just made me think about my high school relationship and how much I will never get back together with that fucking ex. Wow. <laughs> and what was his name? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is Don't Worry, Darling. Did yeah. you guys Ooh, see the movie? Great movie. Wait, no, I haven't wait, seen it. let me finish. Okay. This yeah. is a good one. I have a little I have a little little joke at the little end. Take bit. Mm. Okay. So there was a lot of hype, right? This whole year about this movie. And then Olivia Wilde, Jason Sudeikis, she left him for the fucking what's his name? Harry Styles. Harry, Harry Styles. Styles. Hey, back in the conversation. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Allowed. So <laughs> watching this movie, listening to the hype, watching the movie, I don't think it was worth the hype. Like, I'd rather be in a medically induced fucking coma than sit through another Harry Styles (laughs) acting. Yeah, that's... I feel that. I I I feel that, too. I never watched the film, and I don't think I've ever seen... Harry Styles was in... Dunkirk for a Dunkirk second, right? For a second. But well, yeah, he, he didn't was... talk at all, right? He was just there, wasn't he? Uh, and he was a yeah. pretty face. And he was, and he was also in a Guardian, or not? He was in one but, of those Marvel movies at the very end. So that's my relationship with Harry Styles. I don't listen to. But wasn't music. Dunkirk directed by Christopher Nolan? Yeah, yeah. you can't compare that to an Olivia Wilde directed movie. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the thing. So you're saying the hype was better than the movie? I think, <laughs> I think the movie became what it is because yeah. of the hype. I yeah. mean, I think Olivia yeah. Wilde is a fucking genius. No. Yeah. 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 I, I, well, now she's kind of shunned, right? Because like she came out talking shit about Shia LaBeouf, saying I fired Shia LaBeouf, this and this, and then he posted videos of her sending to him saying, "Please don't leave, come back, uh, you know, I'll do this." And she was even throw parents, uh, uh, what's her name, Florence, uh, Florence Pugh. Pugh under the bus, saying, you know, how, like you know, I didn't watch all those videos, but she was throwing her under the bus. But so she's looking bad, right? I want to quote mm. Madonna. Madonna once said, and "I'll never forget this." There is no such thing as bad publicity for celebrities. She I'm still pretty got sure the she wasn't the first person. I mean, I mean, look, look, I'm look, pretty sure look, she look, wasn't first to say that. Right, right, right. <laughs> look fuck at, you, look Julian. At, fuck look, you. Look, look at Kanye. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that's, not, that's bad. That's not, not bad. bad. That's, that's bad. bad. Don't, don't talk sm- That's uh, not talk publicity, that though. That is... We need a whole year worth of segments for Kanye West. I will leave it at that. You got to dedicate a whole thing. I'm still, like, not 100% sure if it's not just some fucking plan that he had to, like, get out of his contract with Adidas. Mm. That's what my ex boyfriend says. Maybe. Is that why he's your ex now? Yeah. I mean, right. <laughs> literally, it's like clockwork. Every time, right before he drops an album, he does some of the craziest shit he does. that the whole world's talking about. And then he drops an album and then he's back on top. Mm-hmm. And then he goes back in his like celebrity whole- cave, you know, <laughs> and does I mean, more. Goes back I mean, into he, the he reappeared now. Apparently, he's married to some what? Yeezys. Yeah. So I think Something. she she designed like some of his stuff. Yeah. So mm. and she's she's That's she's cool. hot. So I I mean the guy's got a type. Look, but here's the thing: if if I'm giving my personal opinion, I think Kanye West is a piece of shit. No, oh, Jesus, and he's a piece of shit. <laughs> and I and I'm just like you know, you're, if you got a bad deal with somebody, you don't target a whole group of a group of race of people. In that fact, you target that one person. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's me. That can't opinion. paint a broad stroke. Like that's that. what if, I'm saying. If Kanye, if Kanye were Persian, no. and I had to sit down and listen to the crap mm. he was say he was gonna say about Persians, I like fuck that. Yeah. I, I, I understand why black people hate him. Yeah. It's just not cool to talk shit on an entire group of people. Yeah. If, if you women, got a problem with if one it's person, a, a, yeah. an ethnicity or like a genre of music, it's I like totally okay, cool. I mean, like maybe you just don't know what life is like from their reality and their perspective and maybe that's just like you know your two cents from like a little pinhole and that's the thing that that they should just keep it at that if you don't know then don't say it Mm -hmm. you know you can keep your opinion to yourself yeah so moving on from that um (laughs) the next thing i want to talk about is one of the things that kept me entertained for a good six to eight weeks was the johnny depp amber Heard trial Mm -hmm. yeah so I think we all know what happened. We all know what was said. Johnny we all know the verdict. <laughs> but oh Jesus! <laughs> my my takeaway from this is that the only thing that's not legal in the state of Virginia, where the trial happened, is murder. They weren't in California. No, they the trial in happened in Virginia. I didn't know that. Oh, I thought they were in California. So basically, like, Virginia, you know, they did all these things to each other, the fucking stabbing and cutting and the drugs and the alcohol. All that was, like, pushed aside. It's like, okay, I guess the only thing that's not legal here is murder. Mm. Yeah, it's totally legal in Virginia to 
Take to a, a lot poop of in things. someone's bed. <laughs> poop Drop in a deuce. Bed. That's totally legal. Yeah. Yeah. So Jesus. I mean, I I watched it religiously. Yeah. Throughout the month of May and June. So I think I, I was, was just, right there with you. I did too. I was just catching whatever came like on Instagram and stuff, you know, or you know, stuff that posted on YouTube or Facebook. I'd go in there and I'd check it out and you know and it got funnier and funnier. Where they're deposing that one guy yeah. and he's like just like real quick <laughs> takes a vape hit like, <laughs> on like national television with like this judge and stuff like So the next thing um I wanna switch real quickly is um the Queen passing, the Queen of England. Oh my gosh, so at the very youthful age of ninety six. Mm. The funny thing was they did a fucking autopsy. Find out the cause of death. Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> but, um, was it cocaine? Jeez. <laughs> 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 the one thing that I did, I shouldn't admit this, but I start reading tweets, right? When yeah. the queen oh. died. I was comparing the tweets from England, UK, and America. The funniest tweet I found was from the Dollar General, general version. Sorry, the British dollar. Oh my God, the British dollar general. They're called the Poundland. Poundland. I <laughs> like the dope. name of Poundland. That. The funniest, <laughs> the let's, let's go to Poundland. I think they have one <laughs> over there like on a, Northern. Like a really bad pickup line. Imagine a tweet from Poundland, and they say, "Rest in peace, Your Majesty. We mourn your loss here at Poundland." <laughs> That's great. I think Jaguars put out a similar tweet. Oh gosh. <laughs> So that was that was I shouldn't laugh at someone dying. No, but, yeah, no, I was really no. You, know, no, you can laugh when they're ninety seven. You know, cool. I'm I, I actually like I respect the patriarchy a lot. Like I like that, uh, you know, whole ethos of what they stand for. Not necessarily all of the atrocities, obviously, that they've committed. <laughs> uh, Which is like, Chris is the first one. To, he's the first one to come up. And he's like, I, I like I like that these people are in charge like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's it, good. it it is what it is. He's like, I enjoy the crown. I enjoy the crowd. I did enjoy the crowd. I did, I did, I did, that, they got me. Uh, they got me. I on mean, the hook it, there. was she ahead of her time? Yes. Did she do yeah. a lot of bad shit? Yes. But she you know, did. that's it's, just the monarchy for it, him. Exactly. Like in in their you know perception, it's like they have this thing to hold to this such high, unbelievable standard that in their situations, it's better to say nothing and be the strong, silent. You know, mm-hmm. you're above talking about sure. you know certain mm-hmm. issues or, or certain things. Um, which I can respect because, you know, at the end of the day, like if freedom of speech, you know, here in America, we want the government to stay out of interfering with what we're saying. They're more or less doing the same thing, regardless of if they're talking, you know, shit about the crown or about whatever. And then in the background working things, hopefully, um, to make some changes. Like, I don't know, like my friend, um, is actually engaged to the princess of Norway and, oh, um, no. Wow. Are you invited uh, to that? Right? (laughs) (laughs) He's like, I'm still waiting for my invitation. Hey, if you need a plus one. (laughs) A plus two. (laughs) A plus three. (laughs) We come as a whole. Yeah. As a low bar. A plus low bar. (laughs) But no, they've they've made some strides. They sent a submarine for him to come (laughs) get him. (laughs) They've made some strides specifically in Norway because he's the, uh, my friend Shaman Durek is the first African-American man to be engaged to someone in the royal family. Wow. And uh um, so he's a black guy engaged to someone in Norway. A, a, yeah, a royal Princess Wow, and that's as white as you can get. Is Norway. Yeah. So my last topic I want to talk about is the show Pam and Tommy about Pam Anderson and Tommy Lee. I watched it religiously. And the the original it. video t- VHS. Because <laughs> <laughs> I watched that religiously too. <laughs> Are you talking about the one on uh, Pornhub? No, okay. <laughs> Pornhub. I had the original VHS. Oh, you got the original like, VHS. Like in the That's what you're talking box. about. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, all right. Are we done? Oh, yeah, Are we done? Right, yeah, Are we done? Sorry. Okay. I told you we're at the low bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say this, and I want to continue on that sex tape thing. <laughs> Me too. What this. <laughs> Can we roll what a play? Show... <laughs> Let's show a clip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what this show taught me is that the bigger the dick, the shorter the marriage. Mm. Mm. Drops mic. Now, you cannot watch that sex tape on Pornhub, by the way. You have to pay for it. Oh, no. You can find it. Wait, how do you know that? 
Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, I do my research. She's a journalist. She's a journalist. Damn. Sure. <laughs> Call yourself a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Uh, it's dirty work, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get my hands dirty. Anyways. So that's my roundup of uh, peace out. I'll be back. All right. We got to get back to the low bar. All right, guys. All right. Well, welcome back to the low bar. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed pop culture as we always do. This time around, we had some really interesting subjects. In, uh, yeah, usually they're not very interesting. Yeah, they're not very interesting. <laughs> um, she's doing a better job, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we'll promote her to... Uh, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> we got to get back to our guest here. KRXS, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too, yeah. man. I'm excited. Is... We got a lot of stuff cooking up. I know. Romance I know. going Let on. Let the man cook. Yeah. <laughs> Let the man cook. <laughs> so, let's catch up. What's new? Yeah, so I uh, have been working on my second album, and it is one of the best things that I've ever written, and uh, I've just been in the studio in and out, uh, getting new content, and preparing for uh, the first single release uh, off the the title track, um, Expectations, and uh, got to work with the homie from Lake Havasu in this band called TV Tragedy. And, you know, they were the first band I ever met when I first moved to Arizona in Lake Havasu. Mm -hmm. And they're just the, like the dopest, like no effects version, you know, in Arizona, like in the Southwest. And it was always a goal to work with them. And, you know, after a year and a half of writing and getting together and producing um, the instrumentals and then coordinating times, it's been a year and a half in the works wow. to get this song together. We've got a show. Um, happening as well on the 20th to release that single with uh, my boy Shaden, who was just on the podcast. Oh, Shout Shaden. out to Shaden. Yeah, where, you, buddy. where can we hear the single? You can hear the single. Uh, right now, we've got a pre-save campaign going on on Spotify. And uh, on Friday, you'll be able to listen to it anywhere you listen to music. So Apple, Spotify, YouTube Music, Amazon, Deezer, mm -hmm. you know, and Pandora. And these same platforms I can... or. People can listen to your first album. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And that first album's called um, Existential. It's it's been a journey too, because like you know, I went from Stone Cold Sober for like six months um, to I, I kind of like waterfall. It was like I cut out liquor, then I was uh, you know cut out beer uh, slowly, and then was Stone Cold Sober for three months, and that was like a six month period. And uh, you know, now that I'm in a much better you know place. I feel it's only fair to be able to celebrate my success with something that I like doing with my friends. You know, sometimes it'll just be a non-alcoholic beer, but I mean, at the end of the day, I know how to manage myself. You know your limits. Yeah, I know my limits now. And I didn't know until I went over it because I took that care <laughs> excess part a little bit yeah. too literal. Sometimes and sometimes you sometimes you hit that point. You're just like, oh shit, oh, yeah. <laughs> I've yeah. done too much. <laughs> yeah, right. You're like, damn, I, why am I kicked out of this place and that place now? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what happened. Yeah. For the audience out there, what kind of music do you play? Yeah, so uh, I'm a pop punk emo rapper. So um, MGK. <laughs> similar, similar to MGK, except that I actually play the guitar. <laughs> and I was in a touring pop punk band uh, before but, I became but do a rapper. You, do you have a Megan Fox though? Yeah. Not yet. Accepting, oh. accepting applications, though. <laughs> Where can we apply? <laughs> <laughs> you come up in like a wig. Yeah. <laughs> come on. <laughs> right, let's go for let's some bonus or something. So, but your musical journey has kind of taken dip because I remember when I first met you, you were doing like more kind of traditional kind of rock stuff. Yeah. You had a totally different look, uh, you know, and from that. So, wh why do you think you made those changes? Um, for me, it was sort of leveling up like i've always been this person you know okay. i've always been inner you know scene kid pop punk kid i grew up with um you know escape the fade a day to remember oh yeah, um, yeah set my friends that. on fire uh you know and uh devil wears prada all those like metal cool bands and pop punk bands and stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah and hathaway yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and mary street <laughs> and it was just like you know i was i felt like i was living this double life because i had a uh, like a more corporate job. Yeah. And then yeah. I'd go out and I was making, you know, either pop punk music or uh, I was in an indie rock project for a while um, that was more like traditional rock. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that yeah. was. Yeah. And then it was like I got picked up by No Refills and became their pop punk 
uh, guitarist. I remember No Refills. I remember shooting a music video for those guys. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to No Refills. I love you guys. And uh, it was just like during COVID, um, you know, the the thing that really kept us together was practicing every week and playing shows, like wow. in person. And we had just gone out to L.A. to record our record um, and worked with some incredible people. And, you know, we ended up getting our song played on KUPD and we're really getting traction, you know. But internally, we were falling apart because we just didn't have that personal connection. And then egos got involved. And then next thing you know, you know, I'm like, man, I really want full control. I really want to do my own thing. And, you know, I had heard wind that the used guitarist was going to start working with MGK. And I was like, bro, that's that's something that I should do, but I don't need a feature guitarist. I am the guitarist. I am the songwriter. I should do that. I should go down that lane. And, uh, you know, ended up wandering into a Starbucks and meeting my boy Taz, Nathaniel, uh, Arias' son, over selling, uh, overheard him selling a beat, got together with him, and we made magic just right out of the gate. And At Starbucks. Yeah. I guess you can always count on Starbucks. That's for all the indie rock uh, pop guys. <laughs> yeah. Yo, right? No, he's just overselling a beat. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go talk to this guy. Dude, that's sick. And then like in that moment, he came up to me and was oh. like, do you have a laptop charger? And I was like, no. <laughs> you have a laptop charger? <laughs> no. No, but I do got you this work new here? song. Yeah. Right. <laughs> can you get me a laptop? Americano. <laughs> also, do you sell beats? Because I heard that. And that's what I want to do. And it worked out. So that's kind of been the journey. And then it was the tattoos and stuff. It was just like, uh, I always wanted more ink and um, to I wanted my outer to reflect my inner. Yeah. Basically. Sure. Uh, I want to quickly talk about the music video that we have coming up. Uh, well, actually, a music video that we just recently filmed uh, for Expectations. It's amazing, too, because uh, the song Expectations, it's all about um, the expectations that society puts on you and the expectations you put to yourself, the expectations your peers put on you, and that sense of non-fulfillment, like how, how much that sucks if you don't, you know, reach your full expect, you know, whatever expectations. But then it's also like, fuck your expectations. Like, I'm going through my own journey, and it's more important to be present mm -hmm. in the moment. And that's what sort of ties the ethos of it all together. And like, also just, you know, fuck you. Like, I'm sick of being, you know, so low, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like yeah, I'm choosing yeah. to to rebirth myself out of the Phoenix ashes. It's 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 like about what people th expect from you. You know, it's what um, people's image. It's all about image, I image, right? The personal yeah. image. And so it's like you don't want to live life based on what people think is what is successful. You know, what their definition of success looks like. Right. It's like if your daddy expects you to become a lawyer or a doctor, right. and you know you're really passionate about painting. And you choose to become a painter and your whole family is against it, but you decide to hold your own truth and pursue that. You're going to be up against, you know, some pretty big, big odds, you know, yeah. with when you're going against the grain like that or like choosing to be a musician. You know, like for me, that was a big deal with my family. And, you know, you have to accept what that path entails with it. And a lot of people aren't going to understand that. It's like similar to taking like a, a spiritual journey, you know, or something. It's like the more spiritual you get, typically the more like weirded out people get <laughs> when you start talking about things like that. And it's just like, yeah, you know, I'm getting weird out. Yeah. <laughs> that's, see, that's, that's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. I'm Join my cult. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> just I'm there. I already signed up. I'm really excited for you guys to watch this music video. Uh, cause it's got a really cool theme to it. It's kind of a Mad Max tank girl kind of theme. No so shit. Nice. we got some really cool people involved and some really cool, Stuff, bro. We got pyrotechnics. Yeah, we bro. do. I don't. I don't want to get fired. Someone's just, getting set on what's fire. What's his name going to tell me? Yeah, set him on fire. yeah, he's going to set me on fire, <laughs> and that's going to be the last music video I ever directed. Uh, <laughs> All right, Pete. but it's going to look good on we'll video. We'll make sure it gets done. <laughs> yeah. we'll it's like fuck honor. a fiery car crash. We want a fiery <laughs> right? burnout scene. Yeah, we're super excited about that. It'll be coming out real soon here. But for those at home who are looking to be the next KRXS, what can you? What kind of tips can you give them? My advice, if you are wanting to pursue uh, music, um, would be to practice, study your favorite artists, remain authentic to what you like, and keep failing 
and failing forward and getting better and learning and don't listen to anybody else in their opinion. You know, once, once you've put your heart and soul into what your project is and you know, you, you literally cannot do any better or more than what you've done and you like it and you fuck with it. Other people are going to fuck with it too and fuck what anybody else says. So go. I would say just know that, you know, it's just like building a small business though. It's going to take years and be prepared to be in some of the lowest, you know, spots in your life in order to achieve that. But nothing great ever came from something that was easy. So if you're prepared to play chess and not checkers and put it in for 10 years, I say go for it. If you're chasing money, if you're chasing fame, if you're just chasing, you know, material things in the moment, probably not going to get too far. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's a, my music is about helping people and that comes because it helps me in my personal journey. So awesome. So for those out here, where can we find you? You can find me on all my social medias at K R X S raps. You can find me in all your favorite streaming platforms and YouTube at K R X S and, uh, your local punk show probably mm-hmm. hanging out awesome. <laughs> your local punk show. in case you guys are watching at home on YouTube. Uh, the link should be, or the the hashtag should be down here, or up here, or over here. Oh my god, I'm gonna put it in one <laughs> damn spot, Levi. Yeah, you know? and shout out to all my friends that have had my back. Shout out to Team No Sleep. Shout out to Sora. Shout out to Indigo. Ooh, shout out Team to no Jojo. Sleep. Shout out to Tim. You know, homie uh, Shemet, uh Lavender for your beautiful beach snooty Hashi. You know, all you guys. Hashi, you guys. Anyways, so. that's today's show. Really appreciate you guys watching and staying tuned on this. Uh, we got some amazing guests coming up, so. Uh, make sure to stay tuned on uh, the next episodes. If you guys haven't yet, just check us out on the website at lowbarpodcast.com or the lowbarpodcast.com. On there, you can check out uh, merch that we have coming up as well, all of our older episodes, newer episodes, uh, getting contacts, all that kind of good stuff. Well, make sure to catch us on Instagram, YouTube, whatever sites there are. But Anywhere are, you can get podcasts, that's, yeah, that's right. where you can find and, them. And please, and please, once um, if you guys enjoy the show, Make sure to donate because we can definitely use your help. And again, it's to keep the lights on. It's to keep these screens on. It's to keep feeding this guy and oh, getting yeah. us beer. So And please sponsor them. Sponsor us. Because we are looking for sponsors from the local brewery here in Arizona. So Anywhere if you are at this watching, point. Anywhere. Just sponsor them. State 48, we are looking at you. So please. Hello, College Jeez. Street, too. <laughs> yeah, Starbucks. We just said Starbucks. Roland, listen. <laughs> Anyways, that's today's show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And that is it. Y'all have a good night now. Have here. a great night. Peace out.